Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I got a new build for the Windows 10 devices mobile and this build uh, brings some quite a few nice improvements and also bug fixes and so on and let me start to show you by the build number um, and the build number is um, 14342.1001 at this uh, point 1001 it's, it seems like it's always there but yeah, this is the build and uh, let's start by uh, when you update to this build uh, you might be stuck on on the start screen after you update you might be stuck on the start screen on the start screen like this one here uh, and if you're stuck on that screen the fix is to restart your device and do not restart your device just by like hold and press your, your, your this power button and this one uh, it will like restart your device but no to restart the device press this button and then press the volume down press both at the same time for about like 10 seconds and it will restart your device and after that it will start uh, the phone because I read some comments uh, on other videos that um, after updating the phone doesn't start it's, it, it stacks on that screen and they go and uh, with the Windows recovery tool and uh, like restore uh, the phone but that way you kind of lose your uh, settings and yeah this is the fix to, to, to that problem and then in this build after install this build there will be an update to the store uh, which I'm thinking to make a separate video on the store as the store kind of it doesn't make part of this update but yeah with this update <laughs> there was an update for the store so this is the new uh, revamped store uh, which has some nice improvement but still it, it with this uh, new improvement it's a bit laggy uh, but I, I will do a separate video on the covering the store and the new UI store but one uh, addition that they added it's for the edge and this one I was saying this uh, to, to add this one in a few videos back and uh, for example you go in Google let's go in Google and then here you type let's go agile tv for example and then let's open the agile tv and it opens opens and then <laughs> i was saying to uh, to microsoft to add this feature a few videos ago and finally it's here this feature was available on windows phone 7 or 8 doesn't matter and is swipe to go back I see I swiped and I go back even though they reload the page it, the, the like the pages doesn't stay on the RAM but I mean I don't care about that <laughs> the feature is you swipe and you go back or you go forward which I was asking for this this feature so much because I like it, this feature so much even though for example if I want to go forward I can't go forward because there's nothing more to go forward but for let's open for example um, let's open for example a topic and again I can't go forward because I, there's nothing to go forward but I can swipe to go back and it will go to the main page of this Agile TV I think you, I hope you can see yeah and if I swipe again it will go to Google and if I swipe again it will go to the main page of Google and yeah this option I was uh, asking to add so badly because it's so cool to have it and sometimes when you uh, when you want to go forward, for example, you press the back button and you want to go forward, there wasn't an option to go forward. And now this swipe is really cool, this swipe. And then apps for websites. Let's go in this one, uh, all settings, uh, system. And then you have here apps for websites, which at the moment doesn't have nothing because how it's a new edition, the apps must be uh, like updated to have this feature. But what this feature will do is, for example, uh, let's, let's go back, let's go back. For example, TubeCast or MyTube, um, the, if they add this feature, if when they update the, the page and they add this feature, for example, if I have here a, a video, a YouTube video, for example, video, or someone sends you a link, and for example, when I press on that link, on that YouTube video, it will not open on... A, on the web 
on the Microsoft Edge, but it will open on that application that you choose, which is TubeCast or MyTube or whatever application you have. Um, and that's really cool because I tested it and with some other website and it, sa it was saying here at the bottom, like um, press to, to install that application. To, f to open with that application, but it, is, it didn't work because how it's a new uh, edition, there is no apps for such thing, but uh, I hope they will do so, uh, this uh, updates, apps, the apps, they will do these updates. The TubeCast, for example, TubeCast, they have like a, like a um, hack to do this thing, and you open uh, your uh, Microsoft Edge, and here you type an URL, then you type some codes and shit like that, Sorry for shit, but and then uh, it opens like the video. It opens on TubeCast and not on the on the browser. But with this um, with this new addition, um, there will be like an option to choose uh, how you want to open that link through the application or through the browser. And that's really cool. This feature should be here already much time ago, but well, better later than never. But as you can see here, associate uh, apps with websites. Some websites can be opened by an app or browser, like I was saying, there should be an option to choose to open through the app or through the browser. Um, but at the moment, uh, your browser is the only installed app that can open websites, yeah. But uh, well, like I was saying, for example, uh, TubeCast or MyTube, they should implement this update and that way uh, it will be possible. Then the battery. Um, I have 56%, now it's 3 o'clock, I had 63% at 12 o'clock, so it seems like 3 hours and half and it went uh, almost 10% of battery. Um, I can't really say if it's, if it's better than the previous build, but it's not, it's not better because um, I had 63%, it, didn't, it wasn't full and now it's 56%. Uh, but the battery is okay, but it's not great. And then this bug here, this bug is from previous build also, it's not, it's still not fixed. It's this uh, shortcut here. If you press to, <laughs> to change your um, brightness, it doesn't change anything. And before here was automatic. Now there's not automatic and even if I press, it doesn't change anything as you can see. And if I press on it, there is here change brightness automatically if I if I uh, uncheck that now when I press this it works but there is not automatic you want if you want automatic you can you must come here and change from here but oh but before it was here also automatic now it, it's not there I'm assuming it's a bug but <laughs> who knows and then the stability of the of the build it's it's okay it's okay I didn't uh, until now, I tested it like from 12 o'clock. I installed the the update at 12 o'clock, and now it's three. It's uh, 3 p.m. Um, I didn't found any app crashing. Only uh, Outlook, for example, when you receive any email and you want to open the email from here, it will uh, try to open and then it will crash. But if you open uh, Outlook straight from the oh, now you see it crashed. But if you open Outlook straight. Uh, it will open uh, correctly, but for example, <laughs> see if I try to open from here. Now it opened, but until now, always when I was opening from here, it was crashing. But okay, now it didn't crash. I guess fuck it. <laughs> uh, and then the glance screen. Uh, they fixed this. I was saying on the previous build that they fucked this uh, this uh, option, which was when you pass with the hand uh, on the sensor the glance screen was appearing, which on the previous build, this one was uh, was not happening. If you pressed with the hand on the, sens on the sensor, it wasn't uh, appearing, the glance screen. Now it's fixed uh, and I must wait like 30 seconds to, to show you that, but it's fixed because I tested it with passing with the hand and it's fixed. Uh, and even um, on the log, it says that it's fixed. I will uh, leave you a link to the full uh, bug fixes and the full log from Microsoft and uh, what I can say more also when after I updated um, it couldn't uh, like see my SD card so I had to to press that option which was verify my SD card which appears here a notification like verify my SD card 
Uh, the first time didn't work, I had to restart, then the second time it asked me again, I pressed again yes, uh, like verify my SD card, and then the second time it worked, and now yeah, all, all my apps are here, uh, and still here this application that's like pending, like they are can't do nothing, you can't uninstall, can't... Uh, this one I'm guessing is like a problem from the SD card, because the um, because Windows it kinda sees this application as a double because also on tube it's the same application as this one this one is the same application then folder uh, this one is not the same but I uninstalled I remember I uninstalled the app folder but it's still here because it it uh, maybe it has some like um, leftovers on the SD card so the system it kind of sees this as an application uh, I don't want to go there but it, they are still here but I I'm pretty sure if I uh, like uh, erase my SD card and install uh, everything from beginning this one it will be fixed but yeah it's here and these are the changes um, I will like I said I will leave you a link to the full changes um, of what Microsoft said that they changed and what it's still uh, known as bugs but uh, as so far it's been okay the battery still 56 um, battery is okay it's not great the battery battery is okay uh, the um, future from uh, Microsoft Edge, I love it. Finally, it's here. They also fixed fixed groove music, which uh, before it was happening sometimes, not not always, but sometimes when you press like on playing on a music, it was saying uh, error or can't play music. And now that that's fixed. And then uh, I want to show you this uh, when you turn off the phone. Remember before it was saying this don't forget and then goodbye and then that goodbye disappeared and your phone uh, like was still shutting down. Now this goodbye it stays on until your device is fully turned off. So by that way you know that your device is turned off and now it, the goodbye disappeared and the device is turned off. Let's turn it on and yeah it turned on, vibrated, now it's turning on. But before that goodbye was disappearing but you could see the screen it was still um, it was it was still on so this is a nice change and yeah um, these are mainly the the changes I hope you like the, the video guys and um, if you want to update I yeah you can update because you have you get the new store only in this build you can get the new store uh, it's not the build it's not bad I mean doesn't crash uh, apps and um, the stability it's okay battery is okay and yeah thank you guys for watching and I see you on the next time